Hey Kofa Nation, Miss Brown here. Now look, I know you guys miss school. Don't act like you don't. I know you miss the teachers, you miss your friends, and you miss the lunch ladies. Don't act like you don't miss the lunch ladies. But although we are apart, we can still be united in spirit. So next week, October 26th to the 30th, we are going to have our first spiritual week for this year. And you know what Kofa Nation? We bleed red and white. Yes! So here are the days. Monday, wear your favorite pajamas. Tuesday, represent your favorite sports team. Wednesday, wear your class color. Seniors black, juniors blue, sophomores gray or silver, freshmen purple. Thursday, show your go for pride. And Friday, represent a meme or a costume. Let's see that go for pride, y'all. Good morning, another beautiful Monday, virtually, at Glen Burnie High School. That's Mr. John Berger, and this is Mrs. Peterson. Today is October 19th, and these are your weekly announcements. Let's go for it, shall we? <laughs> we shall. Attention, seniors. Senior portrait information is now posted on the GBHS website. If you have not yet had your senior portrait taken, LifeTouch will be at GBHS to take pictures October 20th to 23rd. So please see the documents on the website or the Class of 2021 Google Classroom to find out how to sign up for a time slot. You're going to go ahead and need to schedule a time to get your picture taken. You can't just show up, okay? Don't just show up and be like, take my picture, okay? You can't do it. Okay, sign up and, and please note that if you are only getting your picture taken for the yearbook, that's going to be free. Attention students, the yearbook staff needs your pictures. We are currently looking for summer, back to school, and virtual homecoming festivities. Email any and all of your appropriate pictures to gbhsyearbook2021 at gmail.com for possible use in this year's yearbook. And now, Mr. McGuire will bring you his weekly principal's address. Good morning, Glen Burnie High School. Last week, we wrapped up Hispanic Heritage Month. I want to send big thank yous to our ESOL department and our Warden Classical Language Department for putting together the videos that we got to see during Community Wellness. This week is Maryland College Application Week. Stay tuned for information about how and what colleges you can apply to, and let's try to beat our numbers from last year. Big news I know that you're going to hear more about today is that our sports are starting to start up. Uh, remember that you have to be registered, and as I said last week, we're going to do it, but we're going to do it safely. Special shout out to our seniors who came in, about 260 of you that sat for the SAT. You guys did an amazing job, and I'm really proud of you, and it was nice to see you, of course, from six feet apart. Um, and also another big thank you to all of our teachers that volunteered uh, for that event as well. I'm not going to stop talking or pushing uh, red block for our students. We need to make sure that we are accessing our red block to uh, get in to see our teachers and get that extra help. Remember, there's only about a month left in first marking period, so we need to be doing everything that we can, uh, even in this virtual environment, to uh, get our grades up and maintain that level of excellence that I know a lot of you strive to achieve. So that's all for me today, and let's make it a great week, Gophers. It's so exciting for athletes to get back out there. But what's also stirring some excitement this week is Maryland College Application Week. Ms. Mills has more. Hello seniors, this is Ms. Mills coming on to remind you that this week is Maryland College Application Week. Our goal is for our seniors to apply to at least one two-year college, four-year college, or trade school throughout the week. And we have a variety of activities taking place uh, from Monday through Friday. Uh, every day we are going to be releasing a new how-to video that relates to the college application process. And also every day during Red Block, counselors will be available to help with college application questions. And on Tuesday and Thursday, we have Miss White coming from Anne Arundel Community College. She'll be available virtually from 2.30 to 4 o'clock on Google Meet to answer any questions that you have. And then on Thursday evening from 6 to about 7.30, we're going to have a Ways to Pay for College presentation. So that will be great for you or a parent or guardian to join. 
And then uh, last but not least, we're also going to be having a drawing for prizes. So every student that applies to at least one two-year school, four-year school, or trade school will actually get to uh, put their name in a drawing uh, by either using the QR code on the flyer or uh, following uh, the click here link and filling out the Google form. And we'll be announcing uh, prizes uh, later that week. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your counselor and check out the Senior Google Classroom to find the Maryland applica College Application Campaign Flyer with all of the links. Have a good day. Well, that's it. That's game. We're outy. Have a great week, Gophers. And remember, don't stray from the burrow. Stray from the path. Deuces. I wear orange because I care about what I say and how I affect other people. I wear orange because people are more than their race, ethnicity, and gender identity. I wear orange because I want to treat others as I want to be treated. Communities all across the country will wear orange to send one large message of support, hope, and unity. October is National Bullying Prevention Month. We want you to wear orange. Bullying is not acceptable, and all students should feel supported and safe in school. I wear orange because I care about how my actions affect others. Wear orange as a part of Unity Day. 